Hello and welcome back to We Really Wonder Falls. This video is for the giraffes Ossicurn or Horn. On our initial videos we didn't show it because it was all the stitches that we'd already showed you. But I have had a few people that have got a little bit, found them a little bit fiddly and asked for a video. So here we are making one. So we're going to have a look at the pattern and see what it says. If you're working from the older style pattern, and um, don't worry, the pattern is exactly the same. We've just changed the format a little bit to make it um, a bigger layout, a bit clearer and bigger photographs. So it's now in a booklet form. And this particular pattern has the um, pattern for all the giraffes. They're all exactly the same pattern, just different colours. But it's just an easier to read format. But the, the actual pattern hasn't changed at all. So for our ossicone, we're going to begin at the ossicone's tip at the top using your second colour. Um, so we're going to be doing a standard yellow and gold Amy. Um, so we'll be starting with the gold colour and it says to magic circle eight double crochet stitches. So we're going to do that part first. I think a lot of people find this tricky because um, it is hard to do a tube shape. And I'll show you a good tip to um to make it easier so all i'm going to do to start with is do a magic circle with eight stitches if you've never done this before there is a separate video for the magic circle so you can follow that but most people are at the stage where they've they've been doing this a few times when you're up to here so i'm just going to count because i've lost count because i can't talk at the same time one two three four five six seven eight I was obviously counting subconsciously. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to finish my magic circle. So I'm going to hold it and pull. So that one disappears and then pull the other one. So that's the magic circle with eight stitches. Our next instruction is double crochet eight. So we're not increasing, we're just going to keep, keep to the same number. But as it starts forming a tube shape, it is a little bit tricky to, to see where you're working. So I'll show you how to, to do that. So our first stitch is here. I've popped the marker on the last stitch just so I can keep track. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do eight double crochet stitches. So it's just one stitch in each one. Two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight. So that is quite straightforward. Now, the next round is where it starts getting a little bit trickier because what I do, the best thing to do is push that in. That's the right side out. Look, so we're going to work right side out so you can see a nice, clearly defined magic circle. If we're inside out, it wouldn't look as clear. It'd look like that. And usually the thread is on the inside, so we're going to push it out. That's the trick into making this easier. I'm going to cut that out of the way. I'm not going to cut it right at the bottom just because it might come unraveled, so I've just left a little bit. But the trick is to push that out. You can use the back end of your crochet hook. So we're, we're forming into a tube shape. If we keep on working flat, it becomes difficult to see where we're working. So that's the trick to doing it. Pop your finger in, keep it in that shape, and then we can see our stitches. Our next instruction, after the round two with the eight double crochet stitches, is double crochet two double crochet decrease and we're going to do that twice so that'll be two single double crochets then a decrease then two single double crochets and then a decrease and then it says now change to your main colour so because that's written after this we do this and then change to the main colour so we're going to do that stage next so the end of the oscar is a little bit fatter that's why we're now decreasing so we're going to do a single double crochet and a second single double crochet and then a decrease. So we'll grab the loop from the front of each. There is a separate video for a decrease as well, just showing that particular move if you'd like it. If you're losing track a little bit and think, oh goodness, where am I up to? We should have four stitches now left because we've got to do a decrease, which is two stitches and two single crochets. So we can count back. That's our last stitch, one, two, three, four. So this must be our next stitch to work into. So double crochet, double crochet, and then we're going to do a decrease now. 
we have a colour change video and what happens in the colour change video is it explains that we start the colour change in the last stitch of the round which just makes it a little bit neater. Um, so what we're going to do is we've done the first part of the decrease and normally we just have left the last yarn over to do. So I'm going to do that in my new colour. So I'm going to attach that and do the final pull through in my new colour. Pressed down, that makes it a little bit neater. So we've done that round. So we're going to move the marker again. I'm not going to knot it yet. I'm just going to do a couple more stitches and then sort the tying out at the back and cutting off of the old gold colour. Our next instruction is so we're changing colour and then rounds four to eight, double crochet, six stitches times five rounds. So four, five, six, seven, eight. That's five rounds, double crochet, six stitches, which just means do one double crochet in each stitch around for five rounds. And then we're going to slip stitch and fasten off, leaving 20 centimetres for sewing on later. Don't stuff. There's no need to stuff them. They're, they're strong enough on their own. And if you do start stuffing them, um, you could add a little bit if you wanted, but there is, there is really no need to. So we're going to count our six stitches in the new colour. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will add this into the giraffe videos. Um, it wasn't in before, so it's a new addition just to show you that. We do show you most of the other parts, but the reason we didn't show this is, is all stitches that you have learned. But some people are finding it a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do now is tie off those two ends, which is the beginning of the new collar when we attached it and the end of the old collar. So tie them off and cut them. So we can now get rid of the gold for now. And it's knotted. I haven't cut them really short again because if you cut them really short, it's got a tendency to unravel. What I'm going to do now is get those out of the way. So I'm going to push that knot and everything inside again, making sure that that's pushed out into a nice shape. Careful with scissors, you tend to go right the way through. There we are. Some people use a chopstick, you can use anything you want, but just be careful with anything really sharp because you can end up going through and, and causing some damage. So Try to use something not too not too sharp. So now we've done one round. So we're going to go for round number two. So again, double crochet in each. Five. And there's our six. Always count them as you go around with something like this because it's so easy to lose one. And just be careful as well. When you're working with a tube, it's very easy to go like that and actually catch the other side and you end up then being stuck because you've, you've crocheted it together and you can't get, get all the way around. So when you're doing it, make sure you're only going through that front part like so. You're not accidentally catching a thread or a stitch on the other side. So a good way of doing it is go through that bit there and make sure your hook comes up through the middle. And that way we're not accidentally going through like so and catching the other side. And then we end up in a little bit of a bickle because you end up with a big blob in the middle that you can't find your stitches. If you do that, you can simply pull back a few stitches. Pull back, back to your marker perhaps. Just work slowly with this. It's a bit tricky. And that's just, just the way it is because it's a little bit of an awkward shape. So that's three rounds. So we've got two more left to go. If you're really struggling, found it hard. You might find it even harder if you're working the baby unicorn. Um, giraffes ossicones because they're even smaller you could if you wanted pop something inside the tube um i've seen little people using a little bit of a straw something that would 
just hold it apart so you could use anything really that would pop in and then you could pop out at the end just to put in there leave it stuck out a little bit and then you can you can see your stitches and you can't accidentally crochet it together so that would work well with the um with the mini mini giraffe uh, ossicure so we're now on our last fifth round so we're almost there and counting again so just keep counting each round because it's so simple to end up with one shot or one over and then you'll have a little bit of a, a squiffy ossicure and it'll be a bit a bit out it'll be um it'll taper and go too thin or end up too fat so there's a perfect ossicure colour change isn't very visible a tiny bit there where it steps up but i tend to just pop them to the back if you don't like it being not exactly straight, we do now have a video for what's called the jogless uh, colour change. And that is a little bit more complicated way of doing it, um, but it does make it so that you can't see the change. So pop that through there and pull, take off that. And there's our ossica. So we just need to make another one of those. And these will be sewn onto the top of Amy's head. Um, so I hope that video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.